What's going on Pokemon trainers? Today I have a completely amazing treat to share with you guys. We're gonna be unboxing Baksu, which is a Japanese snack box, and it's going to be incredible. So let's go ahead and open it up. So what is Baksu? Baksu is a monthly snack box subscription service that delivers original assortments of premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings. Every month you'll receive a box with different themes. The snacks will always be different. It's a gourmet journey through Japan every month. If you want to keep track of the monthly themes, you can click on the link in the description box to see which month they're on. Subscriptions include free shipping and tracking from Japan to over 40 countries. You can learn more about shipping updates at the link in the description box. Okay, I know you guys just saw me unbox that, but like I had to put it back in the box and place it all neat because I wanted to take an Instagram photo. <laughs> so anyway, this is what you get in the box. And of course, there's a couple little things down here that just kind of fell to the bottom of the box. So I just wanted to show you that there's these three things in there too. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. The first thing that I have is the pear fromage biscuit. Here is the 20th century pear uh, fromage biscuit. This delicate biscuit is a luxurious blend of 20th century Asian pear, rich cheese, and decadent white chocolate. Here it is, it's a square, and you can see that it has layers. I'm assuming that is the pear chocolate cheese in the middle. Mmm, okay. So the, the bready exterior is just kind of typically bready, but I can't wait to try this pear cheese chocolate, let's see. Oh my God, that is delicious. Just imagine, can you imagine pear cheese chocolate? Uh, when I was reading that description, I couldn't even imagine it, but this in my mouth is literally pear cheese chocolate. And now my mouth is watering because this is so good. Next up, we have the matcha chocolate stick cake. This soft cake uses matcha from Uji Kyoto and it's known for its high quality matcha. It has a chocolate chip, rich, subtly sweet flavor, okay. As I'm opening up my next snack, I wanted to tell you guys you can get 10% off your own authentic Japanese snack box from Baksu. That's saving up to $44 using my code and link in the description box. This also is gonna support my channel, so definitely go check it out. The link is in the description box. Get your 10% off, get your own Baksu, get your snacks. Mmm, mmm. That is so good. <laughs> mm. Okay, I love the flavor of matcha. Matcha green tea is so good. And it has chocolate chips in it. So this is just basically like a little chocolate chip, uh, lightly bready kind of, not really bready, but it's doughy. It's doughy. But it's so good, guys. It's like eating a chocolate chip cloud with matcha. Mmm. It's so good. <laughs> With Boxy, you can get individual boxes, you can get single month subscriptions, or you can get multi-month subscriptions starting at $36.99 per box. Your box is sent to you with free shipping and tracking to over 40 countries. So you can experience the many flavors of Japan, one snack, candy, and tea at a time. So yes, there's even tea in this box. Hanami Dango is a variety of sticky rice dumplings commonly enjoyed during the spring Hanami flower viewing season. This trio of Dango is covered in sugar and colored in the traditional pink, white, and green colors. Yum! It's a gummy kind of sugar inside and it's just coated in sugar. So it's, it's basically just pure sugar and it's delicious. <laughs> Next, I'm going to try this white strawberry. See, so says here, white strawberry. This is the world's first chocolate-infused strawberry. Strawberries are harvested, freeze-dried, infused with white chocolate, and cooled for a chocolate with uh, all the flavor of a fresh strawberry. What? This is a chocolate-infused strawberry. Not a strawberry dipped in chocolate a strawberry that has been infused with chocolate. Okay, it looks weird, as I suspect a chocolate infused strawberry would. It looks, it looks really weird. It looks like a chewed up <laughs> old piece of chewing gum, but it is a chocolate infused strawberry. Okay, let's try it. Whoa. 
Wow, that was an experience for my mouth. Literally a strawberry flavor um, paired with white chocolate, so delicious. The strawberry just kind of like dissolved on my tongue and the chocolate took over and it was just this really cool um, experience of strawberry white chocolate. I don't know, it was, that was the weirdest thing I've ever had out of a snack box and I like it. <laughs> that was delicious. Next up is the Hokkaido red bean donuts. These delicious donuts are filled with Anko red bean paste made with azuki beans from Hokkaido. Comforting and rich, they're a perfect snack for colder weather. If you have ever had red bean anything, you know that this is very savory, sweet. Well, okay, it's not savory, it's sweet. But um, it is very good. It has kind of like a, a donut kind of feeling exterior to it. And the red bean paste on the inside. So let's go ahead and pop it in the mouth. Okay, that was so good that I'm gonna eat a second one. But before I do, I have to drink some water because these are really dry. <laughs> They are delicious and sweet, but they are very dry. So I'm gonna eat this, have some water, and let's do the next snack. Next, I'm going to be trying the edamame senbai, which is summer harvested edamame bits baked into the cracker. This senbai is sprinkled with king ako, which is roasted soybean powder and has a deliciously nutty crunch. Oh, okay, oh, it's broken, I think. Let me get the full thing out of here. Okay, so it, it would be like this, okay? So it looks kind of uh, bready and it's got like a green powder on it. It's kind of thin. It's definitely like a biscuit. And if you look in the middle, it's definitely, uh, you know, got some sesame seeds or some kind of seeds uh, on the inside there. So anyway, this looks good. Let's taste it. Mmm. Um, it's really interesting because this is this is a crunchy biscuit, but it tastes like edamame. I like it. I do like it. Yum. I'm going to finish this. <laughs> Next is the Don Don Yaki, named after the sound of the beating taiko drums heard throughout festivals in Japan. These savory senbai are fried and marinated in tonkatsu sauce for a flavor that is tangy, peppery, and a little sweet. Okay, I love the packaging on this. Look at how cute this is. Is that not adorable? Like when I first put it on my tongue, it just, it had a little, like a bit of a spice to it, but it's not really that spicy. It's definitely way more savory. This is a savory snack. Um, mm, again, as soon as you put it on your tongue, it's like spice, and then it immediately turns into savory. It's very, very interesting. It's like it's like a spicy at first, and then it just like melts into nothing into savoriness on your tongue. It's really, really delicious. This is fantastic. This is a delicious snack. Let, let's try it again. Mmm. Spice, and then you crunch it to it once, and it all turns savory as it spreads across your tongue. It's so good. Now this is, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna end up eating this whole bag of these. <laughs> Next is the handmade yuzu sake candy. This candy is hard crafted by the artisans at Daimonji exclusively for baksu. Our version blends yuzu juice and peel with sake for a refreshingly citrusy candy. This candy contains 0.1% of alcohol content, so please consume responsibly. Oh my god, it's an alcoholic sake candy. <gasps> Let's put it in my mouth. Now this is cool. This brings me back to my days of drinking yuzu highball in Japan. Good times with the ghost squad. Let's see. Mmm. <laughs> yes. Yes. This tastes exactly like my yuzu uh, drink that I had in Japan. Mm-hmm. If you've ever had a yuzu drink before, like yuzu highball, it, it tastes just like it. So this is actually delicious. And the fact that it's 0.1% uh, alcoholic is even better. So this would make a great gift for anybody who likes to drink Japanese drinks. <laughs> Next up is the seaweed tempura. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing that because I'm going to butcher it. So it says these addictive seaweed sheets are battered, fried, and flavored with native Japanese sudashi citrus to create a crisp and tangy snack that will leave your taste buds tingly. So obviously it's like a fried uh, seaweed snack. You can see the seaweed 
uh, on the back there and the fried doughy bits with the flavoring on the front. Those of you who love fish and you love sushi and you love seaweed wrapped anything, this is for you. Not spicy, very savory, mm. very delicious. I love this. I'm a person who loves seaweed. I'm a person who loves sushi. And uh, I'm a person who loves fried things. This literally tastes that like if I could, if I could imagine, um, like if you took a fish and you wrapped it up in seaweed and then deep fried it, and then you ate a piece of the fish and you got some of the seaweed in there too that was fried, that's what this tastes like. It tastes like fried fish with seaweed. And it's delicious. Next we have the black sesame taiko kumamon design. There we go. Now you can see all the little seeds and stuff in it. Okay, like low key, this definitely looks like bird food. <laughs> this looks like bird food with all the seeds in it. Yeah, this is delicious. It is um, very sweet because that simple, uh, that sugar syrup stuff that they use to press all the seeds together definitely starts to melt as soon as you put this on your tongue. It is really good. This is not something that I would buy for myself. Like so far, everything else in the box is something that I would have bought for myself. This, not so much. Okay guys, so I'm getting very full and I'm uh, running out of room to do these snacks. So I just wanted to quickly show you what else is in the box. We have this uh, Puku Puku Thai chocolate. Here we have the uni rice crackers. This is cool, it's actually tea. Organic genmica tea, or genmica tea. Here we have funwari maijin mochi puffs. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering all of this to you guys. Uh, here is the omori apple caramel yakoi sable. This okay, and the very last thing is these stick potatoes. Super mucho plum. Uh, I'm gonna be sharing this with my friend Trainer Tips, so shout out to Trainer Tips Nick. I'm definitely gonna be sending him the rest of my boxu box so that way he can get a little bit of Japan in his life. I'm sure you guys know somebody that would thoroughly enjoy this gift. So go ahead and hook up your friends, guys. Click on that link in the description box. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys on twitch.tv slash Pokemon Master Holly for all kinds of live stream goodness. I do all kind of variety of games and especially Pokemon Go. So come check me out and I'll see you guys there. Peace out, everybody.